the court bill like you're admitting yeah, because it's, <laughs> it's, it's unfortunate but true that we are not really <laughs> we not, keep this facade he's, he's of not being proud of it yeah i am not you are in the <laughs> yeah. film now these jeans or these shoes i really like wearing because you know when i go for shooting in the morning i like to wear these pair of shorts and go because woh din acha jata hai now these are silly things that make you happy din acha jata hai if i wear these shorts is fully superstition अर्जुन कपूर वेलकमिंग बोथ ऑफ देम ऑन ई टाइम्स थैंक यू So if you have already had an experience of killing dead people in Goa gone so when it comes to Bhut police how different was the experience for you Well uh yes I think um Goa gone was a fun and a crazy lovely movie to make a little bit um maybe western elitist in um flavor whereas this film is very massy very indian based and which is one of the things i love about it there was a certain foreign element to the other movie you mentioned but this one is uh, is very different it's it's a lovely movie yeah. um there's some depth to it it's about two brothers it's an adventure story mm-hmm. yes it's a horror comedy but it's also a lot more talking to you arjun this is your first horror comedy so mm-hmm. how is that experience for you like working on this one so i never saw it like a horror co- i know that's the that's the generic sell of it like if you tell somebody are what is bhut police it is a horror mm-hmm. comedy there are those elements in it but mm-hmm. uh, for me i was really excited to do a film about uh, two guys who are brothers you know the, and the difference of opinion which is really interesting to do a film where you don't always have to think alike you're not like one tag team that is out to con everybody it's like he it's wants like to... a buddy movie right yeah it is like, yeah. but 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 with nice friction of uh, of how two brothers ought to be they're not always going to be hand in glove there will be there will be a push and pull and that's interesting because you can agree to disagree and still i'm like a i'm like the guy who doesn't like what he does but i'm still supportive yeah. so i found that bit interesting and the fact that he is this older brother looking out and saying are chiku tum kuch nahi jante life will teach you you know i i've seen enough life and that's something i guess I out of my own experience know with my own sister I will always tell her what do you know you know I have been through this in life and I found those elements far more interesting as an actor to invest in of course the cell eventually does remain a horror comedy but a adventure with brotherhood and travel and all these uh, nice details of uh, this world that pavan created you know this bhoot mela and that van we have and and even the garb you know the outfits and all it became more than the I hate saying it but it's it might come across as quintessential but there is a little more than that in it which is what i found exciting also arjun like janvi has been like in you know, a part of a hmm. you know of a horror film so when you're working on this project like you know were you no, like did you take any, any tips, tips from, from no from of course i knew that you know you would be that's, yeah that's <laughs> not that's like that's that's i know but like sometimes oh you've done this can you give me an opinion no but sometimes <laughs> maybe like you know you have like conversations with your within your family about you know projects and also maybe no. that time okay i'll tell you what the thing is it's it it comes down to you might have conversations about the work that you're doing or i'm doing or she's doing or whatever but we're not exchanging tips sitting on a dining table it doesn't it doesn't make sense hmm. because she doesn't know what bhut police is about i don't know what ruiz is about till we see the film hmm. so you can't really exchange notes about performance what is interesting is did you have fun doing it hmm. you can ask about the experience but not the not the perhaps the process because it's very subjective Sometimes you don't like the process. The film turns out to be good. Now she might turn out to say, "I didn't enjoy doing Ruhi because there was so much makeup and all." But then I might see it and say, "But it looks so good." But if Arjun or I uh, were playing the the ghost, then maybe you'd have said, "Oh, how long did your makeup take?" Or mine took yeah, six hours. He's not. He's not yeah. playing. It's not the same. Yeah, role. you guys are. Yeah, not playing. The, you're playing it, the Ghostbusters actually. Yeah. 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 The, the Daisy Ghostbusters. The Dan Tricks. Yeah. The Ghostbusters is very different. I somehow. Yeah, but always, I always somehow Daisy look language. at it. No, nee, because I know the title sounds like it's a huh. uh, like ghostbusting because it's Bhut Police. Hmm. Um, and I never thought of that before actually. But it's really not like Ghostbusters. at all in fact we don't use we don't have some we don't have some machine or something to catch the ghost aisa nahi hai it's like we use we are actually con men just 
Yeah, the corn man, the corn man, yeah. But you guys are like, you know, uh, in that, uh, <laughs> even in the trailer. You your voice while saying that. We're actually corn men, like you're admitting. Yeah, because it's, it's <laughs> you're unfortunate but true that we are not really, <laughs> we not, keep this facade he's, he's of not being. not proud of it. Yeah, I'm not you are in the <laughs> yeah, film. That's it, like, we're, okay, like we, we behave like we, we tantra vidya jante yeah. aur hum ye karenge, wo karenge, like, but actually, we don't know anything about it. We're fooling people. We're fooling people. Yeah. But in the trailer also, we saw that, you know, uh, you are not scared of ghosts. You said that. Is that the case for yes, you in reality? Is. Yeah. Then uh, you're like, yes, kuch hota nahi. you're saying that. He no, doesn't believe in ghosts. You know? I, I yeah. think he'll be very the scared concept. of ghosts if he ever saw one. And, uh, and I think he is scared of ghosts. Hmm. Um, uh, he just doesn't believe they exist. Hmm. Right? And in real life, I don't know. I think some atmospheres can be very uh, unsettling. You know, an hmm. American graveyard at late at night, uh, you know, or an English graveyard, or an old Haveli. I mean, we shot somewhere in Rajasthan, some other movie in the middle of nowhere, like like five hours, mm. six hours into from Jaipur. Mm. You know, only bats. So it gets a little unsettling, some atmospheres. Forests, you know, jungles. Like jungles, like you said. At night know. especially. What about you, Arjun? Like, are you scared of ghosts like that? I've never had an or experience to know, like, ghosts. Any of you never had such, like, you know, haunting No, actually I've not. That's what I, every interview is asked and the first thing that I realized is I'm fortunate maybe. Like, I've not stayed in a hotel room that I felt, you know, there's something or mm. So many people come and say, hey, we are you know, that area. I've never had those experiences. I, I believe, I'm sure there are powers and there's supernatural energy and auras and all, but mere saath actually kuch nahi hua hai for me to give you feedback that would I be, would I be scared? It's not like I'm saying I won't be scared, but kuch hua nahi to give you actual realization of hai ki nahi hai mere andar wo fear. Are you both superstitious by nature? Well, you have to ask Arjun. He I was mean, saying I'm, that I'm, he is I'm, a bit. I'm, yeah, I'm slightly, about, but like, Actually, is it superstition or OCD or I don't know what it is like. What is it? It's like black cats and number. Not that and way, but that like way. I know, like if I if I. Kinesar lag jayegi, kuch aisa karoge like that. Do you feel like that? Feeling aati hai kahi baar. That's very different. Yeah. Hmm. But Nazar lagna is also related to showing off, maybe, right? A little bit. But yeah, a little bit. Like maybe like you Ke try to say. Like, huh. But that's any way you shouldn't do. Maybe even it can be to your looks or. A lot of cultures or, believe you shouldn't. Uh, show off. Show yeah. off, yeah. You know, that's very different. You shouldn't tempt fate, is yeah. what I believe, just mm. interrupting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, that, but uh, I I am not at all superstitious. There was a time, if mm. I my music on and I notice it's on 13, I'll put it on 14 or 12. Now I'm happy to leave it on 13. But is that OCD combined with superstition? It, that's it, they're not unrelated, I feel. Maybe. Like, I have an OCD of number. Like, hmm. odd even when I'm watching TV, the volume in, invariably goes, but that's not superstition. This that's happens OCD. to me also. Yeah, yeah so. that odd even numbers and all. But it's also like, I know, oh, the, now these jeans, or these shoes I really like wearing because you know when I go for shooting in the morning I like to wear these pair of shorts and go because wo din acha jata hai. Now, these mm. are silly things that make you happy. Din oh, acha jata hai if I wear these shorts is fully superstition. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, but it, it's There's nothing head. wrong. Like some actors actually have nothing, this, you know, that's not OCD. Yeah, some actors have this perception that you know if I wear this particular t-shirt and if I go for the screening, you know, it's going but to be good for my film. That's superstition. Yeah, that is yeah, superstition. Yeah. That is superstition. But you know what happened? you have a good day at work for a few days in a row and you realize oh you've been wearing this hmm. uh, this t-shirt to work and you're like oh I'll keep this in mind this is a nice this has a nice energy to it like I, hmm. like I have a habit of uh, holding on to slightly older t-shirts and uh, and uh, clothes cricketers and all. are superstitious yeah. yeah they like if the match is poised at a point everybody yeah. the next and, and you stop for the day next day people sit in the same position do the same thing the guy who's having a bath goes back in the bath hmm. the Australians do that also so there's superstition everywhere. But even like actors for that matter, you know, they choose a certain period to release a film because, you know, maybe it could be it's good very for... very interesting what yeah. you say. But yeah. it's not, that's not superstition really. That's like astrology meets... Astrology uh, and mixed reality. Plus, yeah. Because there is a period that is very good and there is a period that's there's very some bad. Sa- abhi, abhi, there's some science to it. Abhi shrad aane wale to sab bolte ki kuch mat karna, but, hmm. that naya mat karna. So now, what, what happens reason? is... Ab wo Vehem and superstition and logic. It's you know, maybe that philosophy. It's a mixture of all that comes together, so it stays in your mind. I yeah, think. So we all have a bit mind. of that. Especially Indian culture is all about you keep hearing these things. So some of it you retain and some of it you say Let go you're a believer and non-believer. That's what Bhutpul is also is actually. If you're an agriculture based culture, agricultural culture, a lot of culture there, um, you realize that a lot is to do with the stars. Okay, there is a good period where you know the wheat harvesting. grows and harvesting yeah. and not a good period so you know 
to link that to saying, uh, you know, today is going to be a good day is a bit much, but uh, there are good periods for things like, I mean, if your crops have done well, then probably you'll make some money and therefore it's probably a good time to blah, blah, you know, you can build from there. Also, the film is releasing on OTT and, you know, it's not in theatres because, of course, the condition right now in the country because yeah. of COVID. Does that somewhere, like, you know, bother you both professionally? Because this film maybe, like, could have been a different, you know, film altogether when it would have been in theatres. Yeah, I mean, the genre and, and the kind of way we made it, we, we made it for theatres, the intent was it's, it's perhaps written and performed and and imagined for theatre. So in our heads, we've always thought, you know, it'll be a, a collective group experience. Ki log thoda darenge, thoda hasenge. They'll, they'll enjoy the scale, the magnitude of the film. The VFX look a certain way. The locations look nice on the big screen. So uh, it's, it's, it's like a, uh, what's it called? Like a community experience would be more fun for Booth Police, of course. But we got to be grateful about the fact that we're getting a platform to put this film out there. We worked hard on it. We, the, I think the film still works even on OTT. And given the times, you know, at least we've got a platform. Yeah. So grateful. But I'm a little sad yeah. because I, I was hoping that this would be... Uh, and, and when I read the script mm -hmm. and when I asked some people who work with me to read the script, the feedback was this is one of the best scripts mm -hmm. that I'd received in a while. Mm -hmm. And the prediction was that it would be a big hit. Yeah. And that's always good. <laughs> You know? I'm sure, yeah. and of course, if it would it would have been in theaters, it would have different. Yeah, and we have you know, scenario you know, like altogether. We say, no complaints. I'm sure. I mean, our producers said, "Listen, we'll make a sequel <laughs> one day when things are better." I'm sure. Uh, so, yeah, it's a it's an un, unusual time. So there are unusual decisions being made. You as actors sometimes can, cannot be so selfish and say, "No, no, we've made it for the theater. Let's release it only then." We don't know when. What guarantee do we have that it might take a month or two months or three months? And at the end of the day. Like or a Saif, year or two. Yeah, like Saif said, we'll, we have to accept the situation and uh, still we can be sad about it but still be happy <laughs> about the fact that the film is Yeah. Ready. Saif, you are actually working with Ramesh Torani and Jacqueline after a very long time. Mm. But again, your association with them have been in the past also. You have worked with Jacqueline in race and like, of course, like you had a, I mean, not as such a role with her, but of course, uh, you have worked with her in the past. Yeah. But like you have worked with her in the past and also Ramesh Torani. So what do you have to say about your association with them? Well, for a start, we've had a 100% record of making uh, successful movies, which is very rare for me and very, I mean, great. So... How many films have you done? We've done Ramesh five, you? I believe. Kachi Dhage? Uh, Kachi Kya Kehna, Race, Race, This, and I think there's one more that I can't remember. So it's Haan. six or five. Hmm. And they they were all, you know, good movies and they were all successful movies. And so it's great. He's very sweet. He's one of my favorite people. I don't think of him as a film producer. I think of him as a cuddly father figure Teddy. because I've seen him very <laughs> sweet on sets. Like in race, he wanted to come and sit and chat with us and take us out to dinner and really like a, like a fun father and um, having a malmal on his head saying, <laughs> he's too sweet. He's too sweet. So he's lovely. Arjun, you have been a fan of Saif ever yes. since like you have like directed, yeah. like you know, been an AD yeah. on Kal Hona Ho. I was an AD on, yeah, on Kal Yeah, Hona. and you have watched him like very closely and yeah. like that. So, when like, you know, you have to see about his journey as an, you know, the ev evolution he has done as an actor. What do you have to say on that? But I think his journey is, uh, speaks for itself. He's somebody who's really enjoyed a roller coaster career. That's an understatement, <laughs> I think, uh, who confesses himself that he came slightly underprepared and was... Uh, uh, was 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 <laughs> kind way of putting it. Yeah, okay. well, he, which he said enough times to me also, and we've seen the fact that he's evolved into being this fantastic actor who's so fond of his craft today. So it's a learning to just see his career, and then I got to see him act at a point where I think he was. His style was becoming more and more relevant, or his interpretation of acting was becoming more and more relevant. Like writing contemporary, ho gai, and he's somebody who's grown up maybe abroad and seen more more of the world than than perhaps the Indianized acting that was there. So his performances became contemporary and relevant. He maybe he was doing the same thing five years before that, but it just became more exciting to watch him. As an actor, I feel the biggest learning I've taken out of seeing his career and his work is uh, he's unique in his choices, in the way he takes a scene on, the way he conducts himself, his style, his attitude, his, his thought process. I've never heard Seth sound like or perform like or behave like anybody else. You know, Saif is unique as an identity. Uh, from Ashik Avara and Parampara, Yeh Dil Lagi, to going, even a Rehnaay Dil Mein, even at that time where he was still finding his feet again, 
to doing dil chahta and then kal ho na ho and then of course om kara and salam namaste and that and that golden period where he was making the entire country smile and laugh and dance uh, and then rediscovering and taking a chance and doing sacred games mm -hmm. it's it's all been very unique i i don't think you can look at self as a referenced uh, personality on and off screen so for me that is always something that i look wow, up to wow that's quite moving thank you and nice to hear self what do you have to say about arjun's career so far and what advice would you like to give it to him well i mean i i am not in a position to give advice <laughs> i can just about figure out what i'm doing and we joke about that huh. i we understood that about each other long time ago that a person can only say mujhe apni zindagi mein itna kuch samajh mein aaya based on my experiences but i would tell him that um you know things like being fit and and th on the thinner side suit your face better than yeah, being on the other yeah. side like i could say the same to me <laughs> but like films like you know ishq zade and aurangzeb they're very different kind of actor when you see these eyes and this intensity and that kind of thing and i was really impressed with uh, his work and he's he's a very good actor hmm, and i right. think some of us have um you know uh, not problems or demons but our obstacles are are different you know so if you can sort that out nothing like it because somebody from outside can see the potential in you um easily and but they don't know what you are struggling with to stop you being that mm. uh, more so i shared with him that i really loved those movies yeah. and uh, that that's it i mean i'm really nobody to give him advice i mean he knows more about this business and thinks about it more than than I do um and I'm just really happy he did this film because he's perfect for it and uh, it's now mounted the way it should be and made the way it should be I I really wanted to do this movie um and it nearly didn't happen um then it got delayed a lot and uh, now it's got made in I think the best possible way that it could have got made so um, ever since this lockdown especially like you know we have seen that actors get trolled a lot uh self uh, even uh, you know karina you know has spoken about it like you know she tries to meditate and try to calm herself down and uh, yeah that's what she said off late yeah. okay that's what she said off late like you yeah, know i'm trying yoga. to like yeah, yeah she's doing yoga she's trying to calm down because you know uh, often like in you know, on social media when it comes to your babies the names of them you know often get highlighted and you know you get trolled often me so how do you deal with that and arjun when it comes to you your relationship you know often gets that you know limelight So how do you both deal with it? By not giving it importance and moving on and living a decent, genuine life, because I think I've answered this a million times. Sorry, I've taken the. No, answer. no, it's fine. Absolutely I, fine. I, I just feel um, by sitting and talking about it, we're giving them importance. So we should always move on in life. And at a unfortunate time like this, where people are going through hell with far more important absolutely. things, absolutely. Um, I think by by us underlining and giving it importance and even discussing it today. we are making those people happy that are just sitting at home and typing so it's a, it's a pretty it's like you i feel like maine aur 30 second apne zindagi kya waste kar di iske bare mein baat bhi kar you know and also people uh, the world is not an equal place mm -hmm. people true. are not equally happy or mm -hmm. unhappy and i think we are very privileged people and what we and we, i think we are good people mm -hmm. and we try and we pay our taxes you know we are legal people and we work hard to try and entertain and we do well and we contribute a fair amount of positivity to this world and to comment on people who are contributing negativity and you know dividing and being terrible now it's really not worth it I, i i try and stay off reading that and focusing on something else and it's it's yeah, we have so many nicer things to to look at in life so we should all as as people who are in that position to know better than the ones that have an opinion uh, that perhaps just do this to get an get a reaction i think we ought to know that we don't need to even underline it or think about it because we in our conscience know what we're doing and that's what you got to hold on to absolutely until date you have not joined social media but sara ali khan for that matter is of course like an impressing people a lot with her quirky sense of humor so do you get to see those videos personally well i i mean i get to see her first hand hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so um you know so no no i mean not not the videos all the time but i know what she's like and i'm i'm very happy and excited uh, for her and lastly you're working in adi purush with prabhas yeah. how excited are you for the film i'm very excited i'm very excited i'm um, you know more on that later i'm sure but you know that's something exciting what about you arjun what are your upcoming projects my upcoming projects uh, well i'm doing a film called villain 
uh, this, The Villain Returns, which is the sequel to the first one. And uh, I'm also doing a film called Kutte. So, Villain is with John uh, Tara Disha. In fact, Kutte is, uh, that promo is quite good. Thank you. Is it's it a quite, It's really very good. Kutte? Yeah. yeah. No, um, it's, uh, it's me in a single. How many doubles do I do now? I don't know. But I it thought it since Kamine was a double role. No, Kamine was a double role. But Kutte, Kutte is, is a no, Kutte is <laughs> Yeah, Kamine Kutte. Kutte, 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 <laughs> Kutte is me in a single role uh, yeah, in an okay. ensemble. So, Kutte is... Uh, the motion oh, yeah. poster people. There are a lot of characters. Actually. Yeah, so it's a nice ensemble piece. And these are the two films that I'm doing right now. So I'll finish Villain and then I'll get into Kutte at the end of the year. Yeah. And you guys are looking <laughs> forward to it. Titles are fab. <laughs> Villain and Kutte. Kutte. Yeah. Villain, all right. Yay. Times have changed. Like happy go lucky titles. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, thank you so much for your time and thank all the best you, for Bhutpulis. I'm hoping, I'm, of course, it's going to be a great film. Thank you so much.